All right, well, I grab a blast shield and the losers round four of this uh, under 1500 cup. Or should, which say turning? This map Williams's bridge. Uh, it's a strange map. Not one of my favorites. I'd rather stay away from this more than anything. Um, both going Cybern. I think this map is really just putting your commander on one side and pushing up as far as you can. Grading, grading groups is always an option. Um, lots of uh, second area would be nice. Second land for last shield, also second land. So it's pretty much who can secure most of the map. One second, it's doing some setting things. So both Cybrans. Uh, Cybran is apparently the top race at the moment. I don't really see it. Then again, I haven't played as much as I really have. Um, this map, disgusting, really. I guess we're at real time, so we can't really go too fast. Um, so yeah, second land, no second air. I'm actually kind of surprised. I usually see second air out in this, on this map. I see second air actually everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous. I just air just more mobile, and it's just hard to punish. Like, if I went second air, and my opponent went second land, um, he has a very, very small window to punish me. Because I can just get up another factory after my second air, and I have enough units to defend if needed to. If I use my bomber correctly, then I could pick off any engineers from ex like expanding, any engineers on power, and all that jazz. So, I guess second land is safe, the safer option. But for second air, it's very high risk, high reward. So every navy's pretty good. I'm gonna agree with you on that one. Uh, Mantis, yeah, they just, they don't miss much. Constantly firing. The tech one bots aren't too bad either. Not seeing this unit. This rating group is a waste of time. I like the Mantis up the middle. It's good. There's one in the back here. I don't really see what it's gonna do with a commander in the base. Yeah, lots of good rating though. If uh, Chill wants to do anything, he's gotta he's gonna move his commander, which sucks. Good pressure from Agron though, very good pressure. Like he, he isn't really doing much. I think he took out a couple engineers, or maybe two, maybe. But the pressure is just good. It's allowing him to expand. Blast Child has to step back and defend his base, like at all costs. Um, and in that meantime, Agrim can just do whatever he wants. He literally can push up all he wants. Air Factory coming out for Agrim F as the fourth installment in his base. Um, third land out for Blast Child at the moment. Um, pressure's still really good for Agrim. He will take that down this max. Oh! I guess not. Unfortunately, he just he wasn't paying attention, unfortunately. Little battle in the middle. This middle max is kind of cool. If you can secure this, some people build a wall across so they can't just push into their base. So at the moment, we're looking at Agram having a small lead. I think he has either one or two maxes above his opponent here. Um, I feel like he might be stalling at the moment, trying to build so many factories. Nah, he's doing great. Good he go. Just enough power. Putting on pressure still. No problem. Just doesn't lost that scout yet. I must have stealth. Power problems now coming forward. Blast shield trying to push out, which I think is probably the better idea. Um, using his commander to, to walk down the edge. I feel like if Agram did this a little earlier, he could have had this whole left side. But unfortunately, he went for that air. So this is this is where this is where you see if it's gonna pay off. Like he got the he got the air before his opponent. He is going to like lose most of this left side of course, but if he uses his air correctly, then it'd be all worth it. 
he's off to take it at Jester now, which is pretty cool. That's Chill taking these bottom mechs, no problem. Taking out Agram's top, more forward mechs, while his ACU gets a point defense, which is probably pretty good. Uh, right side, it's about dead even. Um, Flash Chill is now moving forward with his units, unfortunately into a PD, which is a nice PD on the edge. Ooh. Ooh. Nice PD on the edge. Can shoot straight down, no problems. So the rating group is stopped there. Units are pushing up the middle with nothing to defend, especially these artillery are going to have a heyday going on, these engineers. Units being pulled back. So this is what we got to do. we got to put in pressure so he pulls back, and when he pulls back, you expand. So this would be a really good time to like put on pressure on the right side and expand while this gets cleaned up. Opting to go for the mass extractor rather than other units like engineers or power. I feel like power would be the best. Last chill, doing okay on eco, could spend a little bit more. Another factory could definitely Commander sustain. He can go for a tech two, under um, tech 2 mass extractor. Agro on the other hand doing okay. The Jester's coming out with no air to fight this. Uh, eventually he's just gonna get killed by this Jester. Plus with these interceptors. Well, I still having a counterattack up the middle here. Killing an engineer. Uh, I'm sure Agron will see this soon. Divert, divert his forces backwards. Uh, Blast Shield is making a anti-air turret. Agron sees this and takes it out without him. No problem. So at the moment he just needs AA. Any kind of AA. He needs an air factory. I think Agron is pretty much going for the win here. Not really stopping anything in his base, but he's pushing forward. At the moment he has right side and he's pushing forward on left side. He should be careful because he doesn't want to give him a draw. If he had overcharged that would be really good right there. So still no air factory plan for Blast Shield. I don't know what he expects to do about this. He's going for another anti-air turret, but with this constant pressure from the commander of Agram, he will not get that out. And if he doesn't get it out, it's going to be killed rather quickly. And finally, some mobile AA out. It's going to take a while to kill these gunships. These, these things have a lot of health compared to like other units. Like 280, he has almost double the health on this Jester. We went down to 3,000 units, but eventually enough units uh, kill the Jester using the mobile AA. And now Agram is sort of in a bad spot. He needs to retreat back to this PD if possible before his opponent decides to push up. Again, no air factory planned, and finally, realizing all units were being diverted left, Agram starts to push right side. Taking out two mass extractors. Ego's just about the same though. There isn't any real big difference. I think Agram needs to get these, obviously. And he's expanding at the right side, which is the right thing to do. Air control still heavily in his favor. Getting a couple bombers out. I'm guessing he might go for power rates. A really good... This is a really good to go for. Is this energy storage? Because this will kill all, everything around it, too. So, yeah. Agram kind of getting in the lead with, e with Eco. Spending his stuff wisely. Slowly pushing up. Yeah, I think he might be going for... Mm, yeah. Perfect. Going for the, the energy storage. This will take the overcharge function right out of the ACU of Blast Shield. Also, at the same time, it will destroy everything here. So, running on 5, ma five energy? He's going to start to, like go down, especially with this Tech 2 Mass Extractor. He's got to build more energy if he wants to sustain his economics at the moment. He also needs to, to uh, stop this impending attack, which he is with some mobile AA and some stationary anti-air turrets. Going back, uh, I will give it to Blast Shield. He's doing a good job trying to counterattack on both sides. Uh, Agram decided to go Tech 2. That's why we don't see as many units on the field. Agram decided to uh, kind of invest in Nico going up 
Um, he has a single attack 2 max at the moment. Uh, almost 10 over his opponents on mass. He, but with this constant pressure Commander by Blast Shield on the right side, uh, he might lose his entire right side. Agrim pushing back. Tech 2 out for uh, Blast Shield as well. If he has some overcharges, he can definitely get that done, which he does not, he does not be energy storage, so this Tech 2 is free to go ham. I don't think this is the right idea. I think sticking with the commander would have been better. Using your commander to absorb the shots of tech 2 units is really good. It just allows your tech 1 to travel faster and to get around all this firepower. So, army's gone on the left side. Now we have a right side battle between all this Mantai with Flash Shield coming back up on top. This PD is probably going ham. Seven kills, that's almost on the verge of death, going up in flames. Um, this is a pretty much a stalemate. We got so so tech two out for uh, our friend Argrim here, using his stealth capabilities. But here comes raids in with with uh, blast children. No response from Agrim so far. I guess his attention is diverted somewhere else. Sneaking some mantis back into the back of the base, but they will be killed quickly by these rocket bots. No problem here. And these Tech 1 bombers, so this raid will be squandered out eventually. Agrimon pushing back on the right side, looking to expand further. Kind of a stalemate here on the left. Um, an upgrade right now for uh, our friend Blast Shield. I don't know exactly what that would be. Uh, right arm? That's his right arm, right? So he's going for Definitely not that. I guess left arm facing us. So right arm, he's probably, I don't know, he might be going for gun or tech 2. I think tech 2 would be a good idea, but he does not have the economy to support this at all. He has barely energy. I don't know how he's actually, when well, he's not pushing up the upgrade. He can't push up the upgrade right now because he has no power. And that's going to be his downfall. Walling off the middle from Agrim. Complete map control. Eventually, um... Air units are just going to take over. Air units can pick off anything that there's no mobile AA by. Agram, I don't think, has gotten any upgrades on this commander. He has not. So that's maybe stealth? Mm, I don't know. Tech 2 4 is pushing up. Uh, if Agram moves his commander forward, he can get some overcharges off if he decided to go for that energy storage. Um, Tech 2 doing a lot of work in this battle. Good micro from the hoplites. Taking out these um, mobile AA can actually help him entirely since he has so, so many bombers uh, wherever they went. They must have gone for the front base. Maybe this mechs. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're going for the units on the right side. Uh, there's some AA here at the base, but nothing to protect this army, and eventually it's going to fall. So, the battle losing. On Flash Shield's part, if Agrim just moves forward, you can start reclaiming, upgrade more mexes, do whatever you can. Large two T2 force on the right side being pushed up. Something I'm not seeing here is that he has no air production at all. Flash Shield has not gone for any kind of air whatsoever, and I feel like if Agrim noticed this earlier, he can definitely abuse air. Like, he matched him on Tech 2 and on Tech 1. Uh, armies, but he's not abusing, abusing the air. I think some tech 2 gunships would be great. Pick off mexes around the map. You can even do a drop on the back of the map, no problem. Eventually now eco is just going to take over. Um, army size is a lot bigger from Iron on both sides. Pushing with this commander, um, I don't know if Flash Child ever did get that upgrade. No, he did not. He's being pushed back a little bit more. Gonna lose this Rhino here very quickly. And it looks like it's kind of more of the end of this game. Slowly and slowly he's being crept up on. Uh, Eco Y is almost double his opponent for Agrim with all these mechs on the map. Rushing like that probably won't be the best thing to do. But obviously it's just enough using his Tech 2 tanks to uh, Get rid of all this man type. Hmm. Hmm. 
I gotta assume this very slowly, something I noticed. It's kind of the moment where you just want to pressure your opponent as much as possible. And he definitely has the force to do it. You can take out this force easily, no problem. Push him back into his space, give him no breathing room. Back here in the base, just more and more power. Uh, Tech 2 uh, engineers are now coming out. Maybe some Tech 2 power. It could be an option. Good micro on these hoplites. Pushing up on the right side, and this Tech 1 force will be destroyed with these Tech 2 tanks. No problem. Shooting the ground, though. Oof. Going for the deck one max, just because he has nothing else to go for before he loses units, giving a lot of mass to his opponent inside of his base. Just only take two units here that you can reclaim. Ego wise, yeah, now he's reclaiming. He's doing okay. It's like his production is very equivalent to the amount of mass he has. Um, He's got five mixes in total, one of them tech two. While well, Agram, on the other hand, has two tech two mixes and a bunch of tech one. And here at this moment, he is getting raided on the right side. I think Agram's just not being. He's not pressuring enough, I guess? Like, when you. Well, on this map, you have two sides. And if you're gonna, like, push in on this side, obviously he divorced. Uh, devoted a lot of his forces to the right side to protect his right side base. That's when you go in with your left. Then you try to pressure as much as possible. Upgrade coming out for uh, Agram is probably Tech 2. I'm assuming it'd be Tech 2. It is that right arm. I'd be surprised if it wasn't Tech 2. Again, still no air for Blast Shield here on the bottom side. I don't know what happened to Greeno. I, I think he lost. More Tech 2 battles here. Uh, no micro here really from aggro. No micro on both sides, actually. This Medusa is stalling these units. Those Medusas really help. Because they have their stun. When a Medusa hits a unit, it stuns them for, uh, I think, like, not, not a lot. A quarter of a second, maybe? Right side is now wiped out. This is the time to pressure if you can. Left side battle coming in. The upgrade finally coming out for Blast Shield. Now cancelled. I guess he had enough power finally. Now he's just moving back. He has the option to use overcharges if needed. I don't think he can do much though. Diagram is now going for Blast Shield Commander. Trying to end the game. Flash shield running for his life. If he has any overcharges, he could probably send him out. Commander under attack. I'm sure he has been using him. I think he will survive here. I don't think that was the best idea from Agram to do that. I feel like trying to get his base down would have been a little bit better than trying to focus the commander. I mean, just because you have some tactical units, don't think you're going to end the game that quickly. Especially against something with the production value that Blast Shield has, and that he's seen throughout the game. It's kind of like push and pull at the moment, except that it's over this area. Like, Agron pushes, and then now Flash Shield will push back, and he has plenty of mass to sustain the production value he has. He's doing a pretty good job of defending left and right. Yeah, pretty much, Edmund. It's not 100% over, but there's a good chance. Fire Beetle's out for some reason. I don't know what he's going to do with those. Now, this is when, if you're ever playing in Blast Shield position, this is when you get really depressed because that's when you see this yellow dot flying across your screen. It's the most depressing thing of your life because you, no, you have no way to defend this until it's too late. Going for the factory. Wow, I thought he was going to go for the 
that's Shredder. So he's TML sniping. Yeah, he noticed that. He saw that, and that, that's when you know it's over. TMLs are awful. Like, they're awfully awesome. And I think that'll be the end of the game. Because he has no way to defend this without some TMD, and that's impossible without a Tech 2 Engineer. Whoa! What the heck? <laughs> Misclick, maybe? Uh, rapid Fire. This game is pretty much over, though. Fire Beetles. I don't see the use in these. Tech 2 Fence coming from Agram, just in case there's any final ditch effort from Blast Shield here. Which there definitely could be, no problem. Does TML stop? TMLs have stopped coming. There they are, now it's launching. So this is uh, Blast Shield's win condition. This is pretty much the game. He has to push and go for the commander, but obviously he really can't. Agram did a really good job at setting up this tech 2 point defense, make sure Blast Shield can't really do much. Factory finally goes down from these TMLs. No more production here on Blast Shield's side. Final battle looking like it's going to end soon. I don't think Agrim should have pushed up here. He should be fighting in his tech 2 point defense. Being out of that range is really going to make the battle somewhat uneven since there's a commander for Agrim here. Bomber is now coming in. Going for that commander, again, I don't really think it's the best idea, but Fire, be fire Beetles, Fire Beetles, Fire Beetles. That might be. That actually might have won in the game. Fire Beetles. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's game. That was a bad game. Flash Elder did a pretty good job at defending what he could. Agrim, on the other hand, um, maybe not pushing as much as he should. It was fun. It was a fun game.